is Jesus Manuel Menegarza. I hope you're having a fantastic day. I'm here in Fort Worth, Texas, just relaxing, enjoying the heat. It's about 100 degrees here, like always in July and August. I just wanted to talk to uh, many of you out there, just give you a little uh, spiel here about uh, current camping conditions. This has been my experience over the last couple of years that there's certain people out there that are not respecting our public lands. This is going to be oversimplification. I'm going to be very straightforward with you. I'm not, uh, you know, going to talk in detail about the subject, but I'm going to oversimplify and categorize individuals according to their behaviors uh, from my experiences. Okay, over the years, I'm almost uh, 70 years old. I've been around this uh, this uh, planet, and uh, I know of what I speak. Okay. What type of individuals disrespect our public lands? There are, again, several categories. One of them is uh, somebody that actually has an attitude, actually has an attitude. They say, hey, screw you, man. I don't give a, a hoot. <laughs> I don't give a crap about this stuff. I'm just going to treat it like a piece of crap because I don't give a shit. I seriously don't give a shit. In fact, I hate all you people out there, and I'm going to make it worse for you by leaving some shit behind. Dog crap. My crap, garbage, the list goes on and on and on. So we got those individuals out there that actually have issues. They actually uh, might hate themselves or might hate uh, how they've been treated in the society and they just take it out on our environment and on you because they know by leaving a bunch of crap, it's making a statement. I don't give a shit. I don't give a crap. I'm leaving this crap behind. That's number one. Number two is just basically a slob. You know, you know the slob. Uh, you know, they, they may be a member of your family, extended family, some of your friends, some people you met. They are slobs. They do not pick up after themselves. They do not know what uh, hygiene is. Uh, they just leave crap everywhere. They just, okay, I just finished that beer, toss that can. I just finished that, uh, you know, meal, toss that plate, paper plate. Uh, I'm gonna throw it all into the campfire and try to burn it up. I don't care if it's plastic or carcinogenic. I'm gonna toss it. I'm a slob. You go into their RV, it's a pigsty. You go into their car, it's a pigsty. And I've been in pigsties of people that are professional people and you know, lower socioeconomic individuals. Pigs, P-I-G-S, pigs, okay. And third is the, I think, uh, becoming more prevalent lately because of our economic situation and a lot of poverty. A lot of individuals out there are just uh, surviving uh, hand to mouth, uh, barely on whatever income they're getting, uh, Social Security, SSI, whatever. And, uh, you know, they're living, they're living, again, hand to mouth. It's this rough existence. So all they are worried about is just surviving, just getting that next meal, parking at that next park, uh, doing some boondocking here, boondocking there, seeing if they can get some gas in their vehicle so they can go to the next stop for 14 days, or if they can hide somewhere for a week or you know, maybe extended period and just survive as well as they want. Of course, they're gonna buy a, a pack of cigarettes every day, week, <laughs> a couple packs there, there. But you know, they're, you know, they're living that way. They're living hand to mouth, whatever they may be. Maybe they have a thousand dollars, maybe they have two thousand dollars, but they're still living hand to mouth because they do not know how to manage their cash. Maybe they're surviving on five hundred dollars, you know, a month. There are individuals like that that are struggling, and all they can think about is place to sleep, some gas, where to go, uh, safety, and that's about it. After that, uh, Toss that trash out the window, leave that a big mess, I don't care. I'm, my brain's just not processing it all and not able to deal with it. I have issues. A lot of people have issues. Not everybody's fantastic like you are. <laughs> so those are the three you know, categories in which I uh, deal with you know, people uh, that are slobs, people that are lower socioeconomic, and people that don't give a crap and are actually pissed off. Okay. So I've been to campgrounds where uh, I've, you know, gone to the bathroom. You know, I was in uh, Red River, uh, New Mexico. I was going to the bathroom in the middle of the night. Uh, down the uh, campsite, just a few doors down, was they were partying, having a good time. They're going nuts, loud music, drinking, cavorting, acting up, you know, until 11th, you know, p.m. And I go in and I 
this, you know, their guys were going back and forth to the bathroom. I went to the bathroom in the middle of the night, and I'm talking about 3, 4 a.m. It was totally, utterly trashed. To go to the bathroom myself, since I was truck bed camping, I, didn't have, I don't have an RV. Hopefully in a month or so I will have an RV. You know, I didn't have an RV, so I had to use that public restroom. I had to clean it up. It took me about a half hour. Pigs. I've gone to campsites where I have to pick up all this crap. They throw it in the, you know, in the pit. They throw all their plastic. They throw all their cans. They throw all, anything they can find. They toss it in the campsite and they leave it for you to clean up. And they sometimes try to burn it. And, uh, you know, if you know anything about chemistry, a lot of these plastics are when they become, uh, when you burn them, they become carcinogenic. Okay. It's not good for you, the environment, and uh, for your pets even. Okay. You got to be careful. So this has been a Susman one minute. I talking about our public spaces. Uh, a lot of people just don't uh, care. Are just stupid. Just slobs. Just idiots. Okay. It's sad. It's sad. Not everybody's perfect like you. Okay. <laughs> From Fort Worth, Texas, this has been Asus Manuel Menagarza. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. I would greatly appreciate it. Thanks for checking out my modest, very, very modest YouTube uh, channel. It's my hobby, and I'm hoping to expand it slowly but surely. I have no desires to be, you know, you know, make a lot of uh, uh, YouTube videos. I'm just talking about stuff and doing some reviews here and showing my adventures and hopefully pretty soon I'll be showing off my uh, new travel trailer and doing some mods to it. Hopefully if everything works out, okay? Also leave your kind and super friendly comments uh, below. Thank you very much. I enjoy reading your comments. I learn a lot from you folks out there. You, could, you people are smart, except for the people that leave trash <laughs> everywhere. All those slobs, all those people with, uh, are mentally ill. <laughs> They're slobs. And you've seen slobs all your life. You know, there's slobs out there. You know, it's it's tragic. You, you try to tell them, put away the garbage. They go, huh? What? Huh? <laughs> it's tragic. Not everybody has an incredible IQ like you do, okay? From Fort Worth, Texas, this has been Jesus Manuel Menegarza. Gracias. Adios. Bye-bye.